is that defense of Islamic belief system. And Islamic belief system itself doesn't change. But its rational understanding, its justification, and its defense changes with change in human and progress in human knowledge. So if human knowledge has progressed so much in recent years that it, it is qualitatively different from what was considered human um, rational knowledge before that, then obviously we need to review and revive and reconstruct Ayyam uh, al-Kalam, not the part which belongs to Islamic belief system because that's a constant part, but these three parts, what it means to be rational. So our rational understanding of Islamic belief system needs to be revived. Our justification of those uh, belief systems need to be revised. And obviously our way to defend Islamic belief system in view of all this progress in terms of um, the challenges as well as in terms of the opportunities uh, as far as new tools of rational understandings are concerned, new logics, new scientific method, etc., etc. Those should be used to, uh, those new tools should be used to defend Islamic belief system as well. And reconstruction of religious thought in Islam is, the, is basically a plea for doing all these uh, things. That's why he's, and he's also pointing towards, you know, where we need to focus. So he talks about Einstein theory of relativity, etc. And its uh, relevance will uh, become clear as we uh, progress with.